This tutorial will guide you through the process of saving and loading files on a Cayenne or Carrera system. There are two ways files can be saved on the switcher. One, as individual files, or two, as a show file. The Engineering Save and Load menu can be accessed directly from the Engineering Setup menu. All other file operations are accessed through the File Ops menu. In the File Ops menu, the submenu provides choices for show files, all files, and each of the individual file types. Show files will display any switcher related files in the chosen directory. All files will show all the files that exist in the chosen directory. The individual file selections will filter the view to only display files of the selected type. As show files can consist of a combination of the individual file types, show files will also be displayed in all the individual file views. The system storage is located on the compact flash card in the frame. This location is useful for backup files and system files that need to be accessed from any location. Selecting Remote Storage provides access to any location that is available from the computer running this menu application. This is referred to as the Menu PC. The top directory will show all storage locations available that the Menu PC is aware of. The normal PC storage location is displayed as menu C colon backslash. Any external drives will have their related drive letter and a yellow star indicating that these are removable drives. Any drives networked to the menu PC will be displayed with a network icon. Opening the menu C drive location will display any folders that are contained within the GV Switcher user folder location. This is the only folder on the menu PC, C drive, that is accessed from the menu application. Additional folders can be created within the GV Switcher user folder by using the Create Folder button. When saving files, it is usual to save them as show files as this makes loading a configuration for an existing production a single operation. It is always possible to load partial show files if only some parts of the show file are required. To create a show file, first choose a storage location. We will use a folder called Training located on the menu PC drive within the GV Switcher user folder. Select Create Show and enter a show name in the window. The display on the right will default to all the available file types that can be included in a show file, excluding the engineering setup file. Engineering setup files are excluded because loading an engineering setup file into a different switcher is usually not a good idea, as items such as source definitions, outputs, and other system parameters are typically different between locations. It is also a good practice to only select the file types that are required for the show that is being saved. Saving only what you need for a show has two benefits. First, it keeps the file size small, and secondly, this reduces the time taken to both save and load the file. The various file components within a show file are Panel Memory. This will save all the panel memory registers an operator may save in the control panel. A subset of panel memory files can also be selected by entering a range of registers in the window. Panel Prefs. This will save all of the panel preference information, plus the menu history and any macro attachments. Suite Prefs will save all of the suite preference information, plus PBUS and GPI enabled states. Selecting EMEM will save all of the selected EMEM effects memory files that exist in the switcher. Selecting Macros will save all of the selected macro files. Source Tables, this will save all of the source tables in the switcher. Queues, 
This will save all of the selected queue files created by the device control module. The device control module is an option and queue files cannot be created without this option. Source memory. This will save all of the source memory files. This would only be important if an operator has source memory enabled during their production. EDPM. This will save all of the selected EDPM memory files listed. These files will only be present if the EDPM option is installed and some effects are present in the system. Router RMEM. This will save all of the selected RMEM or router memory files. These files will only be present if router memory is being used and files have been created. Source rules. This will save all of the source rules files in the switcher. Lastly, there is the engineering setup selection. This file includes all of the system source definitions, outputs, set def and match def configuration, aux panel configurations, ports, devices, tally, router, clip store, video settings, and resource information currently being used by the switcher. As already mentioned, it is a good practice not to include the engineering setup file within the show file. Once the desired parameters have been selected for the show file, the create button can be pressed. This initiates a save of all the selected files within a show file. Information will be displayed to indicate the progress of the save. If everything is selected and there are a large number of files in the switcher, saving everything can take many minutes. To reload a show file, simply select the show file and press Load Show. However, selecting Choose Load will provide more options. By selecting Choose Load, the menu will first display the file types that are saved within the show file. Secondly, it will allow any of the file types or parts of a file, such as individual EMEM files, to be enabled or disabled for loading. Lastly, it displays a Clear and Replace button, which allows the user to determine if they wish to clear all existing files before loading the selected show file components. Leaving Clear and Replace turned off allows the selected show file contents to be loaded while retaining all other existing files in the switcher. Selecting Choose Load is generally a safer way to load a show file. There is also an Update Show button to allow files to be added to an existing show file. The individual file type buttons allow only files of the selected type to be saved or loaded. With saving register file types, such as eMEMS, a range of file registers can be selected. However, all of the files will be saved as individual files, so this can produce a very complex display, so it is recommended that files are saved within separate folders. Multiple files can still be loaded from a group of files by turning on multi-select and selecting the files required before pressing the load button. Normally, a show file is the best way to save or load a selection of different file types. There are a couple of advantages, however, when loading individual file components. First, it allows register files like eMEMS to be loaded into different file locations by setting a start register number. Secondly, both user setup files and engineering setup files can be further subdivided for either save or load operations. For example, this enables loading only the button mapping file from a panel prefs file from one show into a system without loading the complete file. 
It also allows the acquired resources part of an engineering file to be turned off to allow an engineering file to be reloaded without changing the current resource acquisition. Lastly, there are buttons to allow copying and pasting of files from one directory to another, as well as the ability to rename or delete any files. This completes the file operations tutorial.